We are Hindus. I can't say I'm an Arab. Me, 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 me. I'm an Indian. You know that? I was born in India. In my country, I'm more Indian than most of the other Indians because I was born in India. Most of you are say colonial born. You born here. I am important stuff. I don't know about you. How many of you are important? And how many of you are local? But I am important. So they're running away wholesale in my country. I don't know about here. but i feel that the fire is similar wherever you are so about marriage about divorce and the d in the index how to divorce allah gives it to us in the quran he spells it out for us in detail he's telling you how to do the job if you must if it comes to husband and wife parting how to do the job a nice clean surgical cut how to do it he spells it out for you in detail in surah talaq Will you find talaq and the T? Look for talaq. He'll tell you chapter so and so. The whole surah is dealing with divorce. What do you want to know? You know about Jesus and the J. You want to know about Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم? The Quran says about Muhammad and the M. About Surah Muhammad in Italics. Muhammad. This is chapter forty-seven. Easy to find. Every page is numbered. Forty-seven. Surah Muhammad. We're looking for ayah number thirty-eight. Easy to find. Once you find forty-seven. You find forty-eight easy to find. Last ayah, last quarter, it says, "Wa in ta tawallu yastabdil kaum al ghairakum." That if you Muslims, if you fail to carry out your responsibilities, He is going to replace you, replace you, displace you, substitute you for another people, another nation. Thumma la yakun wa mtalakum. Then they won't be like you. And He has done it. He is doing it all the time. This is his law, the law of Allah Barit Allah. He chooses the people. He chooses the people. In the first instance, in the religious history of man, he chose the Jews. He chose the Jews. Yahudiyon ko chuna, Yahudiyon ko. We name our children. I know there must be many here. Musa, Dawood, Suleiman, Isaac. Hey, can I do my name? Huh? है कि नहीं तुम्हारे में यहां यू गॉट पीपल हियर मूसा दाऊद सुलेमान इसहा यस दिस इज प्लेंटी बट दिस आर ऑल ज्यूइश नेम्स व्हाट डू यू डू विद ज्यूइश नेम्स नो टू आर देयर नॉट ज्यूइश नेम्स दीस आर द नेम्स ऑफ द राइचियस सर्वेंट्स ऑफ अल्लाह द रसूल्स एंड द नबीज ऑफ द बनी इसराइल حضرت موسی علیہ السلام حضرت داؤد علیہ السلام حضرت سلیمان علیہ السلام حضرت اسحاق علیہ السلام حضرت عیسی علیہ السلام دیز ار دی پروفٹس اف گاڈ اینڈ وی ار پراؤڈ ٹو گیو اور چلڈرن دیز نیمز نوٹ بیکاز دے ار جویش دیز ار دی پروفٹس اف اللہ حق تھرو پروفٹس اف تھرو دین وی ار ٹولڈ دیٹ وی مسٹ بیلیو ان دی فور ہیونلی بکس فور ہیونلی بکس چار کتابیں خدا کی طرف سے نزول ہوئی ہمیں ماننا چاہیے وی آر آٹ وی آٹ ٹو بلیو ایٹ واز یو ناٹ اے مسلم امنگ دا فور وی سی وی بلیو ان دا تورات وی بلیو ان دا زبور وی بلیو ان دا انجیل اینڈ وی بلیو ان دا فرقان فرقان از دا قرآن فور بکس تورات زبور انجیل فرقان آؤٹ آف دا فور بکس سیونٹی فائیو پرسینٹ آر جویش بکس Can you imagine? Out of four, three, that means seventy-five percent are Jewish books. You got to believe. If you say I don't believe, you're not a Muslim. Out. Get out. Habis kahinga. You're not a Muslim. You say I don't believe this. Out of Islam. Kharij. Kharij ho jaoge. We believe in four books. Out of that, seventy-five percent Jewish books. Because. Torah was given to Hazrat Musa alayhi salam in Chu. Zabur was given to Hazrat Daud alayhi salam in Chu. Injil was given to Hazrat Isa alayhi salam in Chu. Chu, Chu, Chu. And we believe Allah chose the Jews. He says in the Quran, He reminds us, "Ya bani Israel, askuru ni'mati allati anamtu alaykum wa anni fattaltukum ala alamin." Ya bani Israel, O children of Israel, remember the special favors which I did unto you, and I chose you above all the peoples of the earth for my special favors. Don't forget it. Oh, why are you forgetting? I chose you 
The Jews. <laughs> Why did he choose the Jews? Very good people. Huh? No. <laughs> Why did Allah choose them? People are asking me. Why did Allah choose them? He says, I know. Even Hazrat Musa is complaining. In their own book, in their own Torah, he's complaining. He said, Behold, a stiff necked people. Stiff necked. Maghroor qawm. Who says that, not me? Hazrat Musa is He is telling his people, he's stiff necked. Maghroor qawm. Behold. Deko. Lihatla. Lihatla. Deko. Dek. A stiff-necked people. He's telling his people, he says, Ye, you have been rebellious against the Lord since the day I knew you. Jab se mein janta hun, pechanta hun, jab se mein dekhra this. You are a rebellious people, always going against Allah's teaching. Allah says, tum chukkar, enter the gate in humility, they put the legs first. Huh? They killed the prophets, made great charges against Maryam alayhi salam. What and what? Through their own prophets. If they gave our Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa trouble, I can understand. But they didn't even spare the Jewish prophets. Yahya alayhi wa sallam, they had him beheaded. Zakaria alayhi wa sallam, they killed him. And Isa alayhi wa sallam, they made an attempt on his life. Jews, 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 Jews killing Jews. And their own prophets. But Allah went and chose them. <laughs> why? People are asking me why. So look, I don't know. I don't know Allah's mind. Allah says, I know what is in your mind, but you don't know what is in mine. Is it? We don't know. Uski kya maksad hai? E falsafi aayen hai kya sunane? Khuda ki baatein hai, khuda hi jane. What these philosophers have got to say? You philosophize, you make guesses, your, your opinions you give, what you're talking about, khuda ki baatein hai, khuda hi jane. Allah knows his, his secret. He knows. Why did he choose the Jews? I can hazard guesses. Means I can guess and tell you they have certain qualities which we don't like, but they have certain qualities about them. For two thousand years, they have a quality of persevering, persevering, keep at the goal. They have a target, Manzila Matsud, they say we will go for it every year for 2,000 years. In the, uh, when the day of the holy day of Eid comes along, they say next year Jerusalem, next year Jerusalem. Every year they say next year Jerusalem, Baitul Muqaddas. 2,000 years they persevere. Allah gave it to them. That quality we haven't got. There's something there, there's so many other things. We haven't got the time to go into all that. But Allah chose them to do a certain job of work. They didn't do it. Allah says, يَسْتَبْدِلْ قَوْمٍ خَيْرَكُمْ He will substitute in your place another people. ثُمَّ لَا يَكُنْ وَمْتَعَلَكُمْ Then they won't be like you. But they didn't hear that. The Quran came much later. But Hazrat Isa a.s. a Jew among the Jews. He's telling his people in their own book, which is recorded in what they call the New Testament. In they call Kitabul uh, Kadim and Kitabul Jadid in the New Testament. Kitabul Jadid means the New Testament. Hazrat Isa is telling his people. And the kingdom of God, this high honor, privilege, status which Allah has given you, like we, Khaira Ummatin, he says, the kingdom of God it has been, will be taken away from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. Allah will take away that honor, this privilege, this status, and give it to somebody else who will do the job. That's his law. Hazrat Isa a.s. warned them, you don't do the job, yes, tabdil qawman khayrakum. He didn't use those words, because these words were not revealed, but he said the same message. The kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. And Every time when Allah displaces you, He puts people who are inferior to, to, to you in your mind on your head. The people you look down upon, the people you laugh at. Dead hai, chamar hai, these untouchables, these Chinese, these Mongols, these Spanish people, they drink wine and they eat pig. <laughs> right? You laugh at them. 
You laugh at them. They are the ones who are going to sit on your head. 800 years we rule Spain. Muslims rule Spain for 800 years. Do you know that? In Europe, we rule for 800 years. We had a jolly good time. Masaki, masa. Muslims only masaki. With the Spanish woman, they beget bastard children, they didn't convert them. Arts of us, masaki, masa. Had a jolly good time. Allah is warning them. They don't need the warning. They understood the Arabic language. You and I got good excuse that we don't understand the Quran. We read it for baraka, for sawab. Inshallah, we'll get baraka and sawab. But instructions we are not getting because we don't take the trouble to know, to learn. There has been a wrong system introduced and that system is carrying on. A system for new converts. The way we learn and read the Quran is a system for new converts. After 400 years, you are still a new convert. Your grandfather was a new convert. Your father was a new convert. You are a new convert. And your children will be new converts for eternity, for all time. That's your system. Like a parrot. Read like a parrot. Whether you are a Malay or you are a Hindi, that's your system. Like a parrot. That's for new converts. Naye Muslimano ke liye hai. Not for you, not for Muslims. But you are a new convert. Everybody is a new convert. The system, the system is for new converts. They just teach the man, they say, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbilah, Mupar Kardo, you know, memorize it, and you can join us in the Salah, Salah, Akbar, and rattle it off. Bismillah, Rahman, Alhamdulillah, Rabbilah, Rahman, Malik, and Din, Yakan, Abdin, Yakan, MashaAllah, and the Surah, Allah, Akbar, Sami, Allah, Allah, Akbar. Yes, that's for new converts. Not for us. Not for you and me, Wallah, not for you. But we still carry on, the new convert system. For new converts. I don't know when you will become Muslim. When will you be Muslim? You are new converts and you remain new converts. Me, my children and my grandchildren, according to the system that's given to us, new converts for eternity for all times. Naye Muslim, Naye Muslim, Naye Muslim. We, 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 we. You said I was born Muslim, I said, go, go. You are a new convert. Everybody is a new convert. Me too. Because I can't speak Arabic, I don't understand Arabic. I have to look at the translation. So, Allah Bari Ta'ala is warning, warning us. And whoever listens and understands, warning them. Allah says, Kam taraku min jannati wa huyun. How many were the gardens and the fountains they left behind? Wa zuhim wa makam in kareem. And cornfields and monumental buildings. وَنِعْمَةٍ كَانُوا فِيهَا فَاكِهِينَ And wealth and the amenities of life in which they took so much delight. كَذَلِكَ وَأَوْرَسْنَاهَا قَوْمًا آخَرِينَ Thus other people were made to inherit these things. وَارْسَ مَيْ لُوْغُمْ كُوْ چَلَا گَيَا فَيْرْ قَوْمْ كَيْ وَارْسَ مَيْ چَلَا گَيَا Other people were made to inherit these things. وَمَا بَقَتَ لَيْهُمُ السَّمَاءُ وَالْأَرْضُ وَمَا كَانُوا مُنْغَرِينَ And neither the heaven nor the earth shed a tear for them, nor was respite given to them anymore. When the time came, says Hadith Anku, Hata Do, get rid of them, move them! They are not doing the job. يَسْتَبْ بِالْقَوْمًا غَيْرَكُمْ غَيْرَ قَوْمْ سَيْ تُمَا بَدَلْ دَيْغَا He will substitute in your place another people. ثُمَّ لَا يَكُمْ وَمْتَ لَكُمْ Then they won't be like you. They are reading it. Our Arab brothers are reading it and they understand what they are reading. But while they are reading, they are laughing at the Egyptians. They say, you know, Firon, Habis Kariga, you know, nine plagues Allah sent or ten plagues, plague after plague, musibat after musibat, and the guy didn't come right. Hmm? And they had the gardens and the fountain, they had the monuments, the pyramids and the sphinx, and at Abu Simbel, 4,000, 5,000 years ago, they built monuments there, they are still there. Like the Taj Mahal and the Shalimar Garden. No, oh, they had all these things. Great. So he says the fools, they were cooking here. They didn't heed the warning. They didn't learn. Firon didn't learn. So Allah drowned him in the Red Sea and his troops. <laughs> you see? But Allah said, the fools don't realize that they are in the firing line. They are in the firing line. But no, no, you laugh at the other guy. That's we. All of us are like that. We laugh at the other fool. We are the fools now. No, no, no. We laugh at the other fool. He's a fool. He's a fool. That guy is a fool. I said, you are a fool. You're not learning a lesson. You are a fool. No, no, no. We see him. He's a fool. He's a fool. He's a fool. He's a bloody fool. I said, yeah. I said, you are a bloody fool now. Look, you're going the same way. 
as the fools that you are laughing at. 800 years, they're reading the Quran. They understand the Quran. They made salah, they gave zakah, they went for hajj and for umrah, and they gave beards and they read the tasbih. Perhaps they were as good Muslim as ourselves or even better than us. But 800 years, they didn't do the job. So Allah says, يَسْتَبْدِلْ قَوْمًا غَيْرَكُمْ إِنْ كُمْ بَدَلْدُوا غَيْرَكُمْ سَيْهِ Change them, transform them. And there was not one man left in that country to give the bang, their land. Not one man, not one bangi in the land after 800 years. What a failure. Then, in the Middle East, Baghdad, Samarhan, Bukhara, and the Harun al-Rashid, Mamun al-Rashid, a veritable fairy land. We can, can't produce this, those scenes anymore. Only in films they can do it. The real life, you can't do what they did. And they read in the Quran. They understand the Quran. These are Arabs. On the borders of the Mongols, Halaku Khan, Jangis Khan, Namsunat. Huh? No, they were not Muslim Khans. Then we the Bikini, bikini. They didn't even have that, the Arabs. Men and women used to go around the Kaaba absolutely naked. Nunge, mother, chat, nunge. They say, Maki, pet, me say, ayah, vese. That's what the reason. They had good logic. They said, Allah created like this. What's good of putting shoes and toga and all that going before him? What can we put before him that is presentable, acceptable to him? So we go as he sent us into the world. Nunge, nunge, nunge. Naked. Beautiful logic. It's a beautiful logic. We want to be humble before Allah. The way He sent us into the world, empty handed, empty, 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 no clothes. We go before Him. Beautiful logic. That's how barbaric they were. And Allah can change them. He changed them. He made them into torch bearers of light and learning to the world. Hmm? From the Pyrenees in Europe to the Pacific. From the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean, Islam, Islam, Islam. They made them masters of half the known world. The Quran, Allah's Quran can change them. The Arabs. They can't change them Mongols, no. <laughs> the Spanish people, Allah can't change them. Mm -hmm. Say they're big eaters. Like the Chinese, they're big eaters. Those Spanish people were wine beavers, drinking drunk. <laughs> like the Chinese. Allah can change you Arabs. Our forefathers, most of us, we are Hindis, our forefathers were mushriks. They were worshipping Rama, Sita, Hanuman, Ganesh, Subramani, come on, come on. Huh? Siva, Shivalingam, come on, come on. The gods of your forefathers, tell me, give me the names. Our forefathers, mine too. <laughs> mine too. Allah saved us, no? We were the people when the cow was urinating, we used to run and collect the urine and sprinkle ourselves for purification. We, 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 my people. Hmm? Now I run away. When the cow is urinating, you all run. What did it? Islam. Islam can change you. Hmm? It can't change the terror, the chamar, the untouchable, it can't change them. That's what you think. Change your forefathers. Mushriks of the highest order, they worship the thousand gods, million gods, everything is God. Cow God, monkey God, God, snake God. Allah can change your fathers. But it can't change the Chinese. Huh? Allah says, Fatara Pasu. You wait. In that case, you wait. You don't want to do the job. Allah says, We suffer. Terror, terror. It doesn't mean to wait. Allah, it doesn't mean to wait. It's a warning. Allah is giving you a warning. 
look out, sambhalna. When he says wait means for destruction. For what? Hatta yati Allah bi amri. Until Allah's decision comes about for your destruction. You wait for that, you fools. You wait for that. For your destruction, you wait for your destruction. But we are waiting. They waited 800 years in Spain. We waited 1000 years in India. Muslims ruling India for a thousand years. Eventually when partition takes place, we get one quarter, the Hindu gets three quarter. Why? You didn't do the job. Hmm? You had a jolly good time, you too. The Mohals, the Mohals. We rule India, we build the Taj Mahal, Shalimar Gardens, what else? Kutub Minar. Huh? That's ours. What did you do to the people of India? Your own people, Wallah, they are our own people. Wallah, these are our own people, our own flesh and blood. What do you do to them? No, <laughs> they can't understand Islam. So, the Christian comes along and changes them. As a Hindu in my country, that time was the Telugu, the Hindustani, we call them Kalkatyas. They speak Hindi. Kaise hain? Salam Babu. No. They like, similar to Urdu like. We say Salam Alaikum, they say Salam Babu, Salam. Kaisa hai? Acha hai? Acha reta? Acha reta. They speak like that. Tamils, Telugus, Hindus, Kalkatyas, Hindustanis. They are my people, our people. We are not interested in them. Wallah, we are not interested. We are racist. Same like the caste system in India, the Brahman caste, we are thinking we are the Brahman caste. Maybe our forefathers are also third Jamaat, the untouchables, yours and mine. But we say no, we are the Aryans, the master people. Ham look the body sahib ko jane maalo ke tayyad hai, ki afghan hai, ki patan hai, I don't know. What do you claim? What are you? Ek baar rota hai, ki yun to sayyad bhi ho, mirza bhi ho, afghan bhi ho. Yun to sayyad bhi ho, mirza bhi ho, afghan bhi ho. Tum sabhi kuch ho, batao, tum musalman bhi ho. What are you? You say sayyad and mirza and afghan, whatever you are. I want to know whether you are Muslims. Musalman bhi ho. پھر کا بندی ہے کہیں اور کہیں ذاتیں ہیں کیا زمانے میں پنپنے کی یہی باتیں ہیں ایک ہی سب کا نبی دین بھی ایمان بھی ایک حرم پاک بھی اللہ بھی قرآن بھی ایک کچھ بڑی بات تھی ہوتے جو مسلمان بھی ایک پھر کا بندی ہے کہیں اور کہیں ذاتیں ہیں کیا زمانے میں پنپنے کی یہی باتیں ہیں What are you? You are worse than the Hindu this is the way to be together. We worship the same Allah, the same Rasul, the same Kaaba, the same Qibla, the same Quran, and yet we are divided. We want to fight each other. Over little, little things. Over little, little things. We want to kill one another. When the enemy is at our door, knocking at our doors, he is going to change you. Satya Nas to kar dega. He will finish you up as they did to us in Spain, as they are doing to us in India, but we won't change. You don't want to convert them, do you? The dead is chamar. You understand what I'm talking about? Untouchables, dead chamar. They're supposed to be the sweepers. To use the wood and draw the water, cleaning our shit buckets, carrying our shit buckets. That's their job. Mm -hmm. You don't want them to be a Muslim, do you? Huh? With your mouth you say yes, but in your mind you don't want him. You know that, man. Don't. You can't lie to me. I know what's in your mind because I'm one of you. You can't lie to me. You Pakistanis and your Bangladeshis and you, I know, UPCB wala, the whole bank lot of you, Dilli wala, the whole bank lot of you, I know. Because I'm one of you. You can't bluff me. I'm not an outsider. You, we don't want them. The only time we want them is when our daughter is running away. Can you do plastic surgery, karo, somehow make him into a Muslim, then we can call him Mr. Muhammad Mudli, that the naak to cut gaya, plastic surgery ho jayega. I don't know, I hope you understand what I'm talking. Yastabdil qawman ghayrakum He will substitute in your place another people Thumma la yakunu amthalakum Then they won't be like you. Here is an opportunity. We are satisfied. Look, the masjid, the masjids are full, packed to capacity. This is a good feeling. Very good feeling. Allah, it gives you good feeling. Oh, every masjid is full. Every masjid is too small. Imagine our ladies are not here. And our children are not here. And yet they are packed like sardines. If the ladies were here, where would you be? Huh? 
and the children, where will you be? So you keep them out. Huh? You keep them out. We keep them out. And they are running away with the mushrik. Uh, so well, what can you do? It happens. We don't care for the mafia. We don't care. And nobody is telling you that shoulder to shoulder, khali karo usko. Tumari mai, tumari beti, tumari zaujaz, hamare saath khala karo. I understand with your wife, your daughter. No. Give them separate but equal facilities. That's all. Give them an opportunity. Our Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Do not stop your women from coming to the masjid. But it is better for them that they pray at home. We only hear, it is better for them that they pray at home. First thing is that don't stop them. Create facilities for them. Today, this, in this day and age, you can create any type of facility you want. Separate entrance, separate wudu facility, toilet facility. They are in the mosque and yet out of the mosque. There is no intermingling, Allah forbids. But He doesn't say don't allow them to come. They must hear the message. No, they don't hear it. They don't hear it. You, 52 times a year, you listening to the alims, telling you things and you cry. Like hypocrites, you cry and you go home and still the same, on the same road. Can you pass that message to your wife, your daughter? You can't. You are too busy. We are too busy. Wallah, we are too busy. We have work to do. And when you go home, you want to see the TV, you want to read the newspaper. You have time to talk to your daughters. No. So let the Imam talk. Then we are afraid, maybe our daughter or my wife might fall in love with the Imam. <laughs> no, there's something wrong with you. If your wife falls in love with the old Imam, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Don't blame the Imam. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> no, look, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, Allah. I'm just describing to you a situation where we are creating problems for ourselves, self-destruction. Things that will destroy us. Gradually, this is how it destroys nations. The Christian is attracting people. The Tamil and the Telugu's are here, they look more like us. But the white man gets him. As a Hindu in my country, the Tamil and the Telugu and the Hindustani, they look up to the Muslims as good people. They respect us, Wallah. They are prepared to worship us as Hindus. But as soon as he's Christianized, he's looking down upon us. Because now he's programmed by his, by his white passes that these Muslim Sullah fellows, they're going to go to hell. They're going to go to hell. Ask them, go and ask them, who died for the sins? For your sins, who died for your sins? No, sin has got nothing. He said, nobody died for his sins. <laughs> for yours? <laughs> nobody. It's the silliest question, Allah, for anybody to ask you, who died for your sins? It's like asking you, when you're hungry, who eats for you? When you are sick, who takes the medicine for you? It's a lunatic question, lunacy of the highest order, but he's shaking up the Muslim, who died for your sins? Christ died for mine, who died for yours? I'm looking in my head, Imam Hussain, Hussain Hassan, Hussain, who, who, Shaitan Karbala, who, who? No, I can't find anybody. Nobody dies for your sin, Allah says, Allah says, Allah says, Allah says, Allah says, and no bearer of a burden bears the burden of another. You carry your own burden, everybody carries his own. Nobody can carry yours, not even a son of God. There's no such thing, but he's a son of God. I said, nobody can carry your sins. You carry your own burden. But the guy is shaking up our people. And even Muslims are getting converted. But we won't do anything. In Kerala, Kerala, India. You know in Kerala, there are more Christians than Muslims. Do you know that? How did it happen? No, the Christian is working. Yeah, he's working. In Indonesia, he perverted 15 million Indonesians into Christianity already. And by the turn of the century, Malaysia is talking about 2020, in the year 2020, we'll do this. What? We won't wait for 2020, in the year 2000, the Christians are boasting that Indonesia will be a Christian nation. Today we are boasting the largest Muslim nation on earth is Indonesia. 160 million Muslims. I'm asking, what are they worth? Not even two ringgits. Ready like grass cut and ready for burning. Numbers don't count. Jellyfish is a nation of jellyfishes. Again and again, a small number of people have overpowered, overpowered and conquered no, huge numbers of people. Again and again. How many Britishers came here to conquer Malaysia? How many? A handful. How many Dutch went to Indonesia to conquer Indonesia? A handful. How many Britishers, English people came to India to conquer India? How many? A handful. Am I right? Huh? And we have millions. 
and we and sleeping going down the drain all of us millions in indonesia millions here millions in india so you see a handful see what they can do then they determine and the strategy plan this is the law of god if you don't perspire and exert for your deen willy nilly whether you like it or not you will be overpowered you don't do the job you lose that efficiency if you don't use your muscles over a period you'll find they're not there anymore yeah they atrophy they dry up your mind you don't use it over a period you become like a jellyfish or you look healthy and well but you are like a little baby you know talking silly silly things the only thing you want to see video video tv 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 you want somebody to entertain you you can't even entertain yourself by reading the quran or good books no no you want somebody to entertain you all the time you have become a piece of vegetable vegetable you don't use it you lose it so my dear brothers acquire this ability i am writing books on how to give battle to the nasara my little book there's some little books available here i don't know they are available here outside at the moment a 12 page book let's call the sign of jona what was the sign of jona you master that little book and there is a christian boy who can stand before you wallah this is the laser gun of the intellect but you won't take the trouble i know that this is entertainment you like to listen to me talk i know that you like it you like it no you like to hear me talk <laughs> I know that but it ends there you need to do a little bit of homework like I have been doing before coming here I said now I want to talk to my Malay people I want to talk to them in in something that maybe that they can lap it up far more easily their own language there is no better way to get into the heart of the people than through their own mother tongue the christians here are said I said let me also do the same so I started getting an Indo- a, a Malaysian bible and I started learning verses I'm going to use tonight I don't know how many of you know Malaysian put up your hands those all of you who know Malaysian language put up your hands all masha you must you live in this country you must learn the language <coughs> and you have people here of other than Chinese learn Chinese too talk to him in his language learn to say salam to him in his language what he says like we say in my country to the african is a sagaborn nah or to the african who is more than you talk to him in his language wish him in his language there's no sin and what you can do by that just wishing him in his every time you see give a smiling face to the chinese and wish him well in his language like somebody wishing you assalam alaikum maybe then salam babu how you feel you feel obligated to the man talk learn to talk say salam peace 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 in his language so i learned a few words this i'm going to use tonight but just to give you the taste i don't know whether i'm murdering it if i am if you can have time correct me se orang nabi akan ku bangkitkan se orang nabi akan ku bangkitkan i will raise them up a prophet ukimu lahum nabiyan seorang nabi akan kubangkitkan bagi mereka dari antara saudara mereka that one word the brother was speaking that other language introducing me i remember he word the saudara say yes yes that word i know saudara is the saudara means that he was talking about brothers but so i said yeah that word i know saudara i know se bagi mereka dari antara saudara mereka from among the brethren seperti engkau ini like unto thee like you like who like hazrat musa alaihi salam allah says i will raise them up a prophet from among the brethren like unto thee like you o musa aku akan menaruh farmanku dalam mulutnya and i will put my words in his mouth dalam mulut aku akan menaruh farmanku dalam mulutnya dan ia akan mengatakan kepada mereka segala yang ko perintahkan kepada dia and he will speak unto them all that i shall command him tonight inshallah bring your friends along and uh, your families i don't know whether you are allowed to or what not i don't know but uh, let them come and enjoy this innocent you know, exercise a profitable exercise will be giving you a free book on the subject as so you go along and learn the verse you learn it in malaysian 
so you can talk to the Malay Christian. You learn it in English, your English will improve. Learn it in Chinese, even if you can't read, ask somebody, say, look man, this verse, find it for him, for me, and write it in Arabic script, the, you know, to how to produce the sound, ching chong, right, right. So, memorize that, memorize that. And every time you meet, talk to the Chinese, they say, look man, this is in your book, in, 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 in the Malaysian, it's Ulangan, Ulangan, the book called Ulangan, Ulangan, chapter 18, verse 18 and 19, it ends, that verse 19. Ah, okay, he's gone for the time being. Inshallah, he'll come tonight. Wa akhiru dawan and alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Pray for me as I pray for you. Rabbana zalamna anfusana wa illam taqfir lana wa tafanna wa nakunanna min al-khasirin. Rabbi ja'alni muqim as-salati wa nzuriyati. Rabbana wa takabal dua. Rabbana khfir li wa li walidayya wa li al-mu'minina yawma yakum al-hisab. Dawaun fiha subhanaka Allahumma wa tahiyyadun fiha salam. Wa akhiru dawan and alhamdulillah rabbil alamin.